Palawan President Sarango Whips Jr. was spotted in Kaohsiung on Wednesday on the fourth day of his Taiwan state visit. During a tour of an experimental fish farm, the president took questions about the upcoming Taiwan Palau travel bubble. Later in the day, he joined a banquet hosted by Kaohsiung's mayor, who bonded with his guest over their shared love for diving. Souvenir bags in hand, the Palauan delegation is here in sunny Kaohsiung. On the fourth day of his state visit, President Whips headed south to Yong'an District, where he toured an experimental aqua farm. As you know, Palau is um, uh, well known for its beauty, and tourists want to come and visit, and we need to feed them, and especially with good seafood. And uh, I think one of the reasons that we have is that we know that to be sustainable, you have to have a strong aquaculture industry. And so really coming here and learning about the technology, which is so impressive, uh, uh, has been great. And, and, and finding ways that we can partner with the people that know how to do the work uh, and help our local farmers be successful. To turn LNG into a gas, a vast amount of seawater is used to raise its temperature. That seawater is then reused to farm fish at the Kaohsiung facility. Whips was shown the ins and outs of this experimental aqua farm. One day before the launch of the Taiwan Palau travel bubble, he also addressed reports that some Palauan attractions will be off limits to Taiwanese. First of all, like I said, we, we, we want to welcome you to Palau and we want you to have fun. And yes, there has been some misinformation in the news about uh, there's restrictions uh, for where you can visit. I just want to share that there is no restriction of where all the tourism sites that were open before COVID are still open now. So you'll be able to see everything that you were able to see before. We asked the governor of Koror, which is of course the, in charge of all the Rock Island, to send a letter, which they will clarify to all the travel agencies to make sure that what was open before is still open now to everyone. Next for the Palauan president was an event with Kaohsiung Mayor Chen Chi Mai, who treated the delegation to a buffet-style banquet. Chen said the two of them hit it off immediately over their shared passion for diving. Chen has traveled to Palau more than 30 times before and even manages a Facebook page about his diving adventures. Chen and his guests chatted it up with gusto at the banquet. He also told me about a few good diving spots. He said that if I had the time to go to Palau, he could take me around. Of course, I also told him about our willingness to sign a sister city agreement with Koror. The president said he would do his utmost to facilitate that. Foreign Minister Joseph Wu, lawmaker Zhao Tianling, and other Taiwan officials joined the banquet to welcome their friends from afar. Mayor Chen was the very picture of a proper host with an eye to furthering Taiwan's friendship with Palau.